Picture yourself as a first-year medical student. Since you were young, you've dreamed of learning and applying the skills you're just starting to acquire, all to help others live their healthiest life. The hours and even the student debt that looms on the horizon are worth it if you can help children to overcome illness, aid and improve those suffering from chronic disease, or do your part to welcome new life into the world. But there is one obstacle you didn't count on, and it may be the biggest one of all. Ever since you started medical school, you've noticed a growing tension between what your professors, medical school administrators, and the medical profession are requiring from you and the religious convictions that play a big role in your desire to pursue and practice medicine. As someone whose faith corresponds with the scientific reality that human life begins at conception, you could be pressured or coerced into participating in an abortion, a procedure that ends that life, as part of your medical training to become an OBGYN. Or, as someone whose convictions align with the biological reality that there are two immutable sexes, male and female, you could be pressured or coerced into participating in a double mastectomy for a healthy teenage girl struggling with gender dysphoria, an irreversible procedure that you know she may one day regret. In either of these situations, you could find your medical training or career jeopardized if you don't comply. That may sound stark, but it's what a growing number of medical students, nurses, and physicians face here in the U.S. Consider this. 36% of Christian medical students say they have experienced discrimination or pressure during medical school. One in five medical students, the vast majority of whom were once on track to become OBGYNs, say they have chosen not to practice in a certain field because of hostility toward their beliefs in that area of practice. And finally, 9 out of 10 religious doctors, nurses, and other medical professionals say they would stop practicing medicine rather than violate their ethical, moral, or religious beliefs. This ideological litmus test on who can enter certain fields, like the OBGYN field, doesn't just hurt students. It reduces diversity in healthcare by limiting access to OBGYN care that respects the values of pro-life women, support that's critical for women in high-risk pregnancies, Limiting providers ultimately hurts patients. The same can be said of punishing physicians who don't toe the activist line on gender identity ideology. Physicians of faith gladly serve all people, but many understandably have a conscientious objection to participating in a controversial, experimental, and permanent procedure that removes healthy body parts from a teen girl as part of a so-called gender transition. These ideological pressures have come into focus during the Biden administration, which has announced policies that attempt to override freedom of conscience for medical providers. You might think laws protecting the free exercise of religion would be enough to protect medical students and practitioners facing these issues. After all, the God-given freedom to peaceably live and work according to your beliefs doesn't vanish just because you work in the medical field. But too often, these rights are set aside to achieve ideological control. Driving out doctors, nurses, and other medical providers because of their convictions would mean fewer healthcare options for patients at a time when our healthcare system faces a dire shortage of providers. In the spring of 2021, Arkansas passed the Medical Ethics and Diversity Act, or MED Act for short. The law protects medical personnel including aspiring and practicing OBGYNs, pediatricians, licensed counselors, and more, from being required to participate in a healthcare service that violates their conscience. Americans should not be forced to act against their ethical and religious beliefs just to keep their jobs. Doctors, nurses, and other medical providers are no different. The MED Act and similar conscience protection bills simply protect the ability of medical professionals to practice according to their oath to do no harm. And by protecting their oath to do no harm, we safeguard the right of patients to access high quality care from providers that respect their values. And that's something we should all be able to support.